Welcome to the Accelerated Cooking Products Culinary Center. I'm Food Application Scientist Patty Reyes, and I'll review the features, advantages, and benefits of the Menu Master on Q. It has a small footprint, and it's big in function. To describe this oven in a word, efficiency. The on-Q oven door automatically opens at the end of every cook cycle. This feature increases throughput and decreases operator errors. The on-Q does not need to be monitored during the cook cycle. Operators are visually cued when cooking is complete. Simply open the door, place these hotcakes in the cavity, shut the door, and push the keypad all in one motion, saving time and energy. Notice how the control panel on the on-Q oven is angled for easy access and viewing. The pop-up door reduces traffic interference in cramped kitchen spaces. Ovens can be stacked, saving even more valuable counter space. The on-Q's small exterior footprint and jigsaw design allow two ovens to be placed back-to-back -back on a 30-inch shelf, creating a double-sided workspace. This feature is especially helpful in quick service restaurants, where one side of the shelf faces a walk-up counter and the other side is used for a drive-through window. The on-Q is known for speed, delivering 2,400 watts of microwave energy distributed into the cavity from the top and bottom. The hot cakes were done in just 17 seconds. It can boost heat burgers and hot sandwiches in four seconds and heat sauces from frozen in one minute and 30 seconds. The OnQ can be programmed with up to 100 menu items, 11 power levels, and four cooking stages. Now I'll demonstrate how to program using mac and cheese as an example. A 12 ounce portion of frozen mac and cheese can be cooked in three minutes and 30 seconds in the OnQ. Press and hold pad number one for about five seconds until program mode appears. I select pad one to program and cook in three stages. Next, I enter one minute for the first stage and the default 100% power. This will defrost the mac and cheese. Then, I push the time entry pad to go to the next stage and enter 30 seconds. The second stage requires 70% power, so I select the power level key represented by the triangle symbol and the number seven keypad. The second stage allows the microwave energy to thoroughly penetrate and cook the product. Set the third stage to one minute using the time entry keypad and 40% power using the power level pad and entering four. The mac and cheese will continue cooking in this stage without drying the pasta because the power level is reduced. Notice that the power levels can be entered in 10% increments. Push the green start keypad to save the program. Now I'm ready to cook my mac and cheese by selecting my program keypad. The pasta is perfectly cooked. It is not mushy and the sauce is creamy and hot. Let's do another one. I'll prepare a pasta dish. Nine ounces of frozen pasta with ricotta cheese and spinach sauce. This will cook in two minutes and 40 seconds. Close the door and press the program pad to start cooking. At the end of the cooking cycle, the oven door automatically opens. As you can see, the pasta is cooked al dente and the sauce is creamy and hot. Now, I'll demonstrate how to manually cook in the on queue by quickly boost heating an item from a holding cabinet. For example, I can heat this breakfast sandwich to a serving temperature of 165 degrees in just 10 seconds. To manually cook, Place your food item in the center of the cavity and close the door. Press the time entry pad and enter in your time. In this case, 10 seconds. Press the green start pad to start cooking. See how the cheese is melted and the sandwich is steaming hot. Finally, I'll prepare soup in the on queue. This soup is ready to cook in a pre-portioned container. Place it in, close the door, and select the program keypad all in one motion. I have a steaming bowl of soup in under a minute. The on queue is simple to clean. The door pulls up and out so a flat surface can slide between the cavity and cabinet wall, like this towel wrapped around a spatula. The door hinges can also be cleaned when the door is up. The antenna shield pops out to be washed by hand or in the wear washer. 
clean the hinges and the antenna shield at least once a month. The inside and outside of the oven should be wiped down with soapy water daily. Learn more about how the on -cue can benefit your business. Download literature and cooking guides at acpsolutions.com. Thank you for visiting the ACP Culinary Center. We are changing the way the world cooks.